Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of a water tower and they want to engrave it. And I've taken it and got it to here. Well, I've actually got it to here. Um, a lot of work still needs to be done, but I've taken the background out. It was the main concern. So you can see it's a photograph because the square bounty box behind it. I've reduced it in size just to make it easier for Corel. I am going to make a duplicate and move it over three inches. That's what I got my nudge factor. I'm going to set this one. I'm going to go to bitmap. I'm going to convert it to a bitmap and I'm going to convert it to grayscale. Then I'm going to go to bitmap trace, outline trace, clip art. And what that's going to do is going to take away the background and it might take a little bit of time here. It's a a lot of clouds and lines and I don't know if they want to keep the trees and these power lines or they just want the water tower but that's uh, up to them then I'm going to go and go to object and group and ungroup it now I'm just going to start deleting and I'm going to keep my eye on the water look at the clouds now <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye on the water tower to make sure I don't change anything because at one point we're going to change something um, and, and one, I should have already made a copy of this. But if we look right there, it changed the leg. So let's back up here and let's get rid of these clouds over here. And if you're going to engrave this, it'd almost be easier to just kind of delete all those interior guide wires because they're not really, you know, there in the picture. And so, you know, that's up to your call. Uh, what you're going to do, but we're going to go and try to delete as much as we can. And then we're going to see that change that. So we don't want that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of some of these guide wires. Uh, they're very easy to redraw them. And you can do that in wireframe mode just to look at them. I'm going to go ahead and leave the trees this time. I'm going to and, you know, by deleting these guide wires, you've always got your copy to go off of. That's why I always make a copy. So that's pretty good. Now, to delete this other stuff, because if we delete this, part of the tower goes away, so we can't do that. I don't very seldom ever use wireframe, and in this case, I am. And then I'm just going to take the virtual segment delete key, but I'm going to put a line right down here that'll stop my virtual segment delete key from jumping and deleting some of the water tower. And you can see, you'll see I got some clouds intermixed in there. And then you can take away your line, grab your shape tool and just start deleting nodes that get up to the water tower. Now we've missed, you know, I must have erased some of the water tower. Well, let me back up here, I didn't think I did. Yep, I erased it. So I actually need to take my line and make it longer. Virtual segment delete key and delete it and see that way it left um, the what I need in the water tower. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this line. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to grab the shape tool like I did earlier and start deleting nodes up to the tower. And that'll work. Now, um, I guess I backed up a little bit too much. Delete some of these. I don't know what's going on with my pictures coming in and out. Let me, uh, my computer's having trouble keeping up with this. Let's go to view now and enhanced. So here's, well, I didn't get rid of this side of this circle. Hopefully we won't mess up anything. Now there's still something over here and that might have been connected to the water tower and it wasn't. So now what I'm going to do is group this together. Now in his picture, he'd probably want a flat line across here. So he might want the trees gone, but I'm going to go to object order and group that or object or a group. And then I'm going to take it and nudge it over to here and I'm going to go to object 
order, front of page, so I want that on front of page. Now I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna go intersect. And what that did, that gave me a blocked out copy of my real picture. Still got some lines on it. And what I honestly do, would do would be, you know, you're gonna have to make it uh, hopefully black and white now. You know, may get rid of the trees and, you know, you can't, you can't ungroup any, too much of it uh, anymore. But we need to get rid of these clouds that are kind of in the backdrop. And I honestly would redraw the whole inner guts of the water tower. Uh, it'd be pretty easy to draw. You know, that's just a pattern of great work. Um, you know, we could possibly look at it in wireframe again. Wireframes, are, I don't, even though I don't use it very much as a pretty powerful tool, uh, when you want to look at something like this, go to view and view and wireframe. And then you can see all those interior lines. And you could actually probably delete them. My old computer's having trouble keeping up. Uh, with that but anyway i would just block this out somewhere and you know you're gonna have to turn it to black and white probably to engrave it i guess we could try that go to bitmap convert to bitmap black and white and we'll see what happens nope so you can run it as a grayscale you're probably gonna have to break uh, the flag across, and maybe even redraw the flag. You know, maybe even redraw the the wordage. Um, and just you're just gonna have to test that on a piece of wood or whatever you're gonna do to see what it looks like. If you if you take away the wordage, yes. So it's gonna. I moved it over. Let's uh let's make our nudge factor about one inch. If we move the letter over, over, we could probably do the same thing on the flag. And then just find a font that's close to that, or really, that's pretty good. You could clean that up with the shape tool and make it you know, square looking. That doesn't look half bad. So what we can do now is take, you know, this thing has a whole, like a shadow behind it, and can't really delete it, but what we could do is left click Left click, no fill. Well, I guess it's, maybe it's not a fill. Let's try, let's try this. Let's try nudging it out of the way. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, basically have, maybe have to trace that again to get a shape. <clears throat> or let's do this. Let's cancel that out. I like this idea. Take a box, which is a rectangle, and then take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, nudge it over, left click, right click, go up to object, break the curve apart, get rid of our box, make this a, a gray, take away the outline, nudge it back over and you'd want to do that maybe for the whole thing and then when you put the letters back object order front of page that's going to be gray pretty good I, you can maybe make that gray or a little bit darker and because you if you can make the whole thing gray just a light gray then it's going to engrave differently um, you know than the wordage and then you could do the same thing you can get a flag off the internet or draw a flag. I've got a couple of videos on how to draw that flag that it looks like it's waving. Anyway, I was really just trying to help him remove the background. Hopefully he can take it from there, but I would I'd seriously just redraw all this uh, guide wires. Those are for strength. You know, the girders uh, look pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.